Hey everybody, welcome back to Dead Band Deezy's Kanji Study Streams. We got total new vocabulary words from the JLPT N1 list, and as always, if we see new kanji today, we're going to write it down ten times, go over its readings and meanings, and how to remember it based on the radicals that make up the kanji. If we see a new word, but it's made out of kanji we already know, we're just going to go over the meanings of the two words and how they come together to make our new one. If you don't want to listen to me write these down and say them out loud, head on over to YouTube and you can skip ahead to the parts where I explain the kanji. And if you just want these word lists, head on over to uh, Google Drive where you can download at will. Our first word of the day is fukushi. Fukushi is welfare, well-being, or social service with fuku on the left side for a blessing and shi on the right side, our new kanji for welfare and happiness. Radicals in this kanji are clothing on the left side and on the right side we have stopping. Um, this kanji makes me think of the study from a years, few years ago that's, I think, debunked now that you don't get happier or, or more wealthy in happiness after $75,000. Uh, I think that was proven false. But um, what I'm trying to think of is, like, welfare is a state of at least some minimal um, needs being met, meaning the welfare stops at clothing. Your welfare or happiness stops at clothing. At a certain point, you don't get happier. She is welfare or happiness. She is welfare or happiness. She is welfare or happiness. Fukushi no shi is welfare or happiness. And together with fuku on the left side for blessing, we have fukushi for welfare or social well being or social service. Fukushi. Fukushi. Is welfare, well being, or social service? Fukushi. Number two is Gepu. Getsu on the left side for month, and Fu on the right side. Our new kanji for a levy poem, tribute, or installment. I'm going to go with installment for the way that I remember this one. Gepu no. Pu, hokani, fu, or bu is levy, a poem, a tribute, or an installment with the radicals for a shell, a seashell, which is often a symbol for money, and a warrior or a warrior's arms on the right side. So we've got a warrior who's being paid in installments. I'm thinking of old Japanese movies now where you would pay the warriors, usually the bad warriors, for in installments, uh, kind of like Yakuza or kind of gangsters like pay protection money in order for them to quote-unquote protect you. But in this case, it is money or tribute paid to warriors. Installments or tribute is fu, bu, or geppu no pu. <coughs> geppu no fu is installments or tribute. Geppu no fu are installments, tribute, or payments, levies, or poems in some cases. Geppu no fu is installments, payments, Tribute. Geppu no fu. Hokani bu. Are installments, payments, or poetry. Geppu no fu. Geppu no fu.
together with Getsu. On the right side, we have monthly installments or monthly payments. Get the monthly installments or payments. Get the number three is a slightly easier one with ka fun. Ka on the left side for flour and fun on the right side, kind of for fine powder. So flour's fine powder is, you guessed it, pollen. Ka fun is flour powder or pollen. Kafun is flower powder, the powder from flowers, aka pollen. Kafun is pollen. Kafun des. Kafun is flower or pollen. Number four is boon gyul. Boon on the left side is a portion or a division, and gyul on the right side is work. So this is literally a division or section of labor. Uh, it can also mean a specialization in a profession or assembly line production, production by parts. Boon gyul is literally translated portion business or the division of labor. Boon gyul this. Boon gyul. is a division of labor division of labor a specialization within some work or an assembly line boom gil this Number five is yari tosu. Yari on the left side is alternately uh, a kanji for used, skau. So yari on the left side kind of for to use and tosu on the right side um, for going or pushing through. Let me double check that left sided kanji's meaning. So it can mean to do, but basic meaning is dispatch. Dispatch, send, give, or do. So yari tosu is to dispatch through or to carry through, to achieve or to complete. To dispatch and see through is to carry through, achieve, or complete. Yari tosu. Yari tosu is to carry out, to carry through, or to see through. Yari tosu carry through to achieve or to complete. Yari on the left side for dispatching and tosu on the right side for seeing through to the end. Yari tosu is to dispatch and see through to the end. Yari tosu. Yari tosu this. Number six is yu mizu. Yu on the left side is kind of for hot water, and mizu on the right side is just water. So this is literally translated hot water, but it can also mean cold water or a plentiful item. Um, and for plentiful item, I'm kind of thinking since water is like, um, it's how you say, I guess, bountiful in today's modern society. Yu mizu is hot and cold water. We'll remember that it's plentiful item if... I think of if I find it in my studies, I'll try and remember that. But for now, we're just going to remember hot and cold water. Yu mizu, that is water. Yu mizu. Let me double check the meaning of yu. Yu is kind of onsen no yu. Yeah, it's like a hot water or a bath or a hot spring. So you can think of like water that we normally use is either hot or cold. So yu mizu is hot and cold water. Yu mizu this. Yumizu is hot and cold water. Yumizu is hot and or cold water. Yumizu.
Number seven is a kakekko. A kakekko is a race or a sprint. Isn't that a fun word? Kakekko. Probably made from the sound that your feet make when slapping the ground. A kakekko is a race or a sprint. Unfortunately, we are not learning the kanji for this today, which would probably help in remembering kakekko is a race or a sprint. But we're just going to remember kakekko for now. Kakekko is a race or a sprint. Number eight is eki jo. Eki on the left side for liquid and jo on the right side for the state or circumstances of something. So eki jo is literally translated a liquid state of like water or mercury, for example. Eki jo. Talking about states of matter here with this one. Eki jo. Eki jo is the liquid state of matter. Eki jo this. is the liquid state of matter. Ekijo. Ekijo is the liquid state of matter. Number nine is kyoi. Kyo on the left side for amazement and wonder, and i on the right side for strangeness. So this is a strange and wonderful thing, a wonder, a miracle, amazement, or prodigy. It is kyoi, kind of surprising strangeness. Kyoi is a wonder, something amazing, a prodigy at something, or a miracle. A kyoi. Kyoi is a wonder or an amazement. Kyoi is a wonder, amazement, or miracle. Kyoi. Wonder, amazement, or miracle. Kyoi. Kyoi this. Number 10 is another easy one with lie or a harsh taste. Can also mean the scum in food, like the scum you find in oil. Can also mean grit or willpower. Aku is grit, willpower. I like. Grit, um, but we're also going to remember lie or a harsh taste. Aku, kind of the bad part of something, or grit, either literal or figurative. Aku, this grit is in willpower, it's got some lie, or a bitter taste is aku. Number 11 is gen ten. Gen on the left side for reduction and ten on the right side for points, like points in a match. So a gen ten is a reduction or a subtraction of points. Gen ten is reducing or subtracting points, specifically in a match or game type setting. Gen ten is the removal of game points. Gen ten. Gen ten is the removal of points. Gen ten. The removal of points in a game or graded setting. Gen ten. Removal or reduction in points. And number 12 is Gai Yo. Gai on the left side for an outline or a summary, and Yo on the right side for the main or uh, essential parts of something. So Gai Yo is an outline of the main points, literally translated. An outline, summary, or overview is a Gai Yo. An outline of the main points. Translated. Gaio 
is an outline of the main points. Gaio is an outline of the main points. Gaio. An outline of the main points. Gaio. Gaio this. Let's go back to the top. Make sure we've got some good pins in our brain where all these memorizations are eventually going to go. Make sure you're making flashcards of all the words you study and uh, you're immersing yourself in Japanese. That's how you do it, baby. Our first word of the day was welfare, well being well being or or social service with fukushu fukushi sorry fukushu is revenge or review fukushi is our new word for welfare well-being or happiness with the new kanji fu or sorry she new kanji she here for the clothing stops the happiness in your life stops at clothing and at a certain point after your needs are met you can get no happier fukushi no shi it's happiness or welfare number two was a monthly installment with a get gets on the left side for monthly and fu on the right side with our installment of a shell being given to a warrior get is a monthly installment or payment Pollen is flower powder or kafun. Kafun is pollen. A division of labor or a specialization within uh, a profession or an assembly line is a bun gyo. Bun on the left side for division and gyo on the right side for business. To carry through, to achieve, or to complete is yari tosu. Yari on the left side to dispatch some task and tosu on the right side for to see it through yari tosu is to see something through to the end or to achieve it hot and cold water is yumizu yu on the left side for bath water and mizu on the right side for water itself yumizu is hot or cold water a sprint is a kakeko a sprint or a race is a kakeko. It's a fun one, kakeko. The liquid state of matter is the ekijo. Eki on the left side for liquid, and jo on the right side for state or circumstances. Ekijo is the liquid state. A wonder, miracle, amazement, or prodigal, prod, uh, prodigy is a kyoi. Kyoi is a wonder or an amazement. With a surprise and amazement on the right side, on the left side, and on the right side, we have e, a strangeness. A strange wonder is an amazement or a miracle. Ba, 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 ba. Bitter taste, scum, or lie can also mean grit, as in one's willpower in English, is aku. Aku is some grit or lie itself. Subtracting points is genten, or the reduction of test points. Genten is a subtraction of points. And finally, an outline summary or overview is an outline, gai, of the main points. Yo, gai yo, is an outline of the main points. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I hope you had a good Wednesday, and I will see you all probably tomorrow. I think I already had the list for tomorrow too. Thanks for watching. Domo, arigatou gozaimashita. Johnny. Oh yeah, today's music was uh, George Clanton. Go check out George Clanton. He's awesome. Well, it's George Clanton and some vaporwave stuff, but mostly George Clanton at the beginning. <laughs>